All right, so now let's go over lazy sample. Now you're probably familiar with lazy chop at this point, which takes place in sample edit, where you could chop a sample by hitting slice plus, or even better, just tapping drum pads to insert slice points. But now what you could do is while you're sampling in real time, you could do the same thing. You could hit drum pads why that live signal is coming in to automatically sample, chop, and map them to a program. It's a really incredible feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down in the simplest form here. And I'm going to sample my voice calling out the play pads that I want to sample to. All right, so let's go ahead and let's jump to sampler. So I'm going to hit menu and I'm going to hit sampler. Now in this case, I have my external microphone as an input and you could see as I talk, there's a signal. Okay, now I could turn monitor on or off. In this case, I'm gonna keep it off because I don't wanna hear myself double while I'm doing this tutorial. So starting at the top of the page, you can pick which inputs you wanna use. External, left, right, external, left, and right, what we're using now. Or you could choose to resample left, right, or left plus right stereo. So when you have slice arm, you are ready to start sampling at any time. So instead of hitting the record arm button, to bring us into sampling, we're just gonna hit the play pads in real time. Then when we're done sampling, we're gonna hit the record arm button to stop sampling and create our program. Being that we're just sampling my voice right now, let's get right into it. Pad one, pad two, pad three, pad four, pad five. And there it is. So from here we can name our sample. And it's going to create a non-destructive slice. So you could pick whether you want to use regular NDC or use the pad parameters non-destructive chopping, which is my go-to always. All right, so you could also, if you look from the software, see the sound wave of each chop we created. So from here, we have a play option. We could hear it. Pad one, pad two. So if you're not satisfied with your lazy slice, you could hit discard. In this case, we're good. Let's go ahead and create a program. So I'm going to hit create. And now if I jump to the main screen, pull it up here in my programs. Pad one, pad two, pad three, pad four. So that is really a giant step forward for the MPC when it comes to sampling. I mean, just think of the possibilities with live instrument players, sampling stuff on the fly. So I would think one of the best uses you could put this feature to is actually sampling from vinyl and you could get all your chops done right in real time while your record is playing the same as you would do in sample edit mode if you had already sampled that whole song, loaded it up and did a regular lazy chop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There it is, it's really convenient because it's making a program for you right on the fly as well as sampling. So this is Lazy Sample, it's pretty darn awesome, and I hope you enjoy it.